This is a tutorial for how to play Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones on bass guitar. This is part of the Andy Guitar Band program where we're learning a set of 21 songs on bass guitar. I'm teaching these on electric guitar also. And the drummer in the band, Tom Mills, is going to be teaching these on drums as well. Not only that, once you've learned these songs, you can play along with us in the Andy Guitar Band to the full song, seeing all parts clearly played and any parts that aren't suitable for beginners, I'm gonna be giving easier options all through the way. Check out the other videos in this playlist if you haven't already for sure. This is song two in this playlist. So this is one of the easier songs to play on guitar for sure, and it's quite easy on drums, no complex fills or anything like that. But the bass part is quite tricky, and I do want to teach that full bass part, and I want to teach it using our fingers as well, not using a pick, but I want to give an easier option for the beginners out there that are perhaps just starting out on bass, and this is one of the first songs that they're learning, among the first songs anyway. So this first part I'm going to be teaching is how to play a very simple bass part throughout the whole song and then we'll show a clip um, where we're playing that part along to the band recording so that you know exactly what to do and when to do it. I will then show the full bass part um, after that and then there'll be a full play along at the end of this video and in every video in this series. It's going to be loads of fun. So this song is in the key of E and we do of course have an open E string um, that we can tune to if we're in standard tuning for our basses. But we're going to move to the A string and I'm just going to get you to put your first finger on the E note which is at the seventh fret just here. And then the other main note that we're going to be playing throughout this is the A, which is also at the seventh fret, but one string down. It's just here, okay? And what I want us to start doing, and if you've not covered how, any right hand technique, this is going to be perfect for you, is a technique where we're going to use the first finger and then the middle finger alternately, okay? And whenever we're playing the bass with our fingers, so not using a pick, we want to be resting the thumb of that picking hand on top of the bass pickup like this. Different basses will have different pickup configurations, so find whatever's comfortable for you. But that thumb needs to be planted there at all times. And when I'm seated, I just rest my arm on top like this. This does give a kink of the wrist, but we're nice and relaxed, the shoulders are relaxed, and we can do this without any tension, that's the main Thing that we're watching out for. Don't tense up and try and notice how much you can relax while you're training this. Go easy and go slowly and you will get it. So the main part for the bulk of the song wants to be this. And that is essentially whenever that main guitar riff is playing that is what we're going to be playing and that is a bar of E one two three four so that's just playing on the beat and then one two three four if this is just blowing your mind and you can't imagine how you're going to do this with the finger style you could just pluck with one finger or if you're more comfortable using a pick we can, of course, use a pick. This is an inclusive course. I want everyone to have a go at playing along to the band recordings, because I think that's the main thing that most people don't do when they're learning these type of songs. They don't practice enough along to real live recordings, and that is what you'll need to do if you ever want to play in a band. So that is part one. That's the main part of the song. Whichever way you want to do it, that is totally fine, whether it's just with one finger or with a pick. But whenever we're using this technique, we're going to be plucking first finger, second, alternately, always starting with the first finger. Really important. So play along with me if you haven't already. Two, three, four.
The other part we're going to be playing in the song is for the verses, so the I can get no, which is um, where we're going to play, which is where we're going to play the same thing, but essentially at half speed, or what we call half time. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And to do that, I want to relax the finger which causes the note to stop ringing out. So this is for... I can't get no satisfaction. All right, that happens twice. I can't get no satisfaction. But I try, we want to play. Okay, that's E, E twice. Um, then the string below really because this is the bottom string but physically above we play the same rhythm there back to E and then an A at the fifth fret that was but I try and I try and I try and I try and then when we're back to I can get no do 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 I can get no all right and again, for most of the song, we're playing this until uh, no, 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 where we do probably what I think is the coolest technique on bass. I mean, slapping and popping is, is cool as well, but just doing a drag down, suddenly, I just think they're, I think they're great. I think they're really cool. Uh, that's where we pluck the note, that seventh fret, drag it down, and then relax your finger, and again, keep it on the strings. And we might want to mute the strings there if we are getting anything ringing out. We don't want that. No, no, no. Let's have a go at playing that along to the band now, and then we'll be back to learn the full proper bass part and have a full play along. After this clip, enjoy playing along. guys i hope that's something that you could do if it isn't i'm going to begin some lessons up on my youtube channel and the website sort of talking you through all those kind of techniques um just to get that basic foundation there and give you something easier to play along to but that was pretty doable with a bit of practice and work on your part again nothing worth doing comes easy i'm afraid we do have to work at this stuff including the full proper way to play these parts 
on all the bass parts to satisfaction, which is challenging for sure. Um, this might want to be something that you come back to after taking on a fair few other songs in this course and getting used to playing along to the jam tracks, that's the main thing. Um, but here is the main part. We're also going to cover the verse part. And then the main two parts in the song. So they're very short and repetitive, but there's nothing easy about them. They do both require some skill. So here we're walking up a minor scale. And we want to try and do that. Uh, and as first thing as a warm up is trying to do that using the first finger and then the middle finger alternately to pick each note as you go through. Just go alternate and then you will work through the couple of problems that this kind of brings up. Now as you can tell there, my bass technique is not perfect, but that exercise just there was how I was able to work on my technique a little bit to be able to play this song all the way through and work through those couple of problems. Um, the main problem is making sure that when we get to this note, we're using the middle finger and then coming back to the first finger, this idea. always that way around. And uh, the other thing is just kind of getting used to that little finger strength. There is another way to play these notes. Exactly the same notes. Some of you may prefer that, especially those where that little finger muscle and all this side of the hand is just like, ah! But if you keep your elbow in, and keep your fingers in this sort of shape, really curling those fingers over, this should be something that you can work towards doing. Remember, relax, 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 and you will be able to do it. That power one more time. And the verse part now. The nice thing here is it's exactly the same move each time and it's kind of, kind of consistent which fingers we use to go between the strings. So not too bad at, again, trying to get that alternate going. Uh, when you're doing it up to speed, it's natural that this can sometimes go and we can even start just using one finger. Um, that can start to happen or you can find your own little pattern. Um, all I'm going to encourage is if you want to take your bass playing seriously and for me to be able to play these songs up to speed, I had to work on that technique. That's what I had to do. Get it alternate and get it the same each time. That's how you can sort of work towards that consistency. Uh, after that part, after this has happened twice, We then have that was E to B, E to A with this new rhythm. And then we're back to what we did before. So there is no doubt that each of those parts is going to take a good deal of work um, if you're new to playing bass. However, it is doable. You may wish to come back and play along to this at a later point. Remember, if you just want to play along to the tune, you can use a pick. If you find that easier, even just using down picks, 
finding your way of getting through it. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go for the full play along. This is the main purpose of this entire course. I filmed the full, every song that we've done here with the band where you can really see what we're playing and you can have that fun of joining in with us too so that if you ever play with a band or if you just want that feeling of playing with a band and you want something to work towards, a blueprint to work towards, you have it here with these play along tracks. The other thing that I wanna make sure you're aware of is we have this feature on YouTube where we can change the settings and slow down this playback speed of the videos to 0.75 and even 0.5 if you need to, but I think that 0.75 is most useful. And uh, for that reason, I'm gonna keep the last play alongs in every uh, video at full speed because then you can slow it down if you choose to, if you need to, and you work up to the full speed to, you know, 100% tempo when you're ready, okay? So have lots of fun with this. Please try and join in. Uh, you can, or you always have the option to just stick to root notes if at any point it's getting too hard for you, but make sure you can play along to the structure of the song. Make sure you know how the song goes and which part you should be playing where, and then when your technique catches up, you'll be able to play along to this song. And trust me, this is easily one of the hardest bass lines in this in entire series. I think there's only two or perhaps three out of the 21 songs that are at this kind of level or, or harder. This, this is easily one of the hardest. So give it a good go or come back to this later on. But here is the full play along video for satisfaction.
So there you go, guys. I hope you really enjoyed that. Again, if it was too difficult for you, you've got that easier option to enjoy playing along to or come back to this later on uh, after you've had a few days and weeks of this kind of bass practice and come back to these play along tracks again and again, night after night, evening after evening. That's what I did with a few of my favorite albums and that is the one thing I could do that got me ready and that is the one thing I believe that got me ready for playing in a band even back when I was 14, 15, 16. That was the main thing that I did to practice being in a band, practice what I was doing on my own, just in, in you know, in pra normal practice time and then along to the recording. Along to the recording again and again and again like it's a set like you are a band rehearsing a set. That's what these play along videos are for you. I hope you really enjoy them and I hope to see you in the next videos and you can check out more videos from this course right now.